guys, welcome back and happy fall. Fall time is finally here. We were away on vacation for a little bit. We did go away for a few days and um, you know, kind of just have to come back and get back into your routine, go back to work and you know, all that stuff. But I am back today with this fall inspired makeup look. I've been seeing tons and tons and tons of these fall makeup videos and I'm totally obsessed with it. Fall is my favorite season. You know, even like the fall colors, like the plums and the cranberries, golds, browns, I'm like totally here for it. So this is pretty much my take on fall makeup. So if you're interested in seeing how I created it, what colors I used, then just keep watching. So to prime my face today, I'm using the YSL Blur Primer. I've been so hooked on this primer. Well, that's a lot. Just wipe some of this off, because I definitely took too much. All right, I just have to get rid of some of that, because it's kind of, when you apply too much, you just feel greasy, so. But anyways, going in with some foundation, I'm going to apply a nice even layer of this IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation in the shade medium. And then before I blend that out, I actually just want to apply a little bit of eyeshadow primer. So before I forget, just do that. But just to blend all of this out, I'm using this Tarte brush. I think this is like their bamboo brush. So we were in California for a few days. Two of our friends, another couple, um, had moved out there a while back and we've been trying to plan a trip to get out there and see them forever. Just going in with my usual Tarte Shape Tape concealer. But anyways, as I was saying, yes, we were trying to like get out there to visit them for a really long time, but we could just like never get the timing right because you know how life goes. There was just always something going on with like work and things at home. So I'm glad we were like finally able to get out there and see them. It was so much fun. We got some beach time in, which I hadn't like gone to the beach all summer. And then um, we went for a hike and went out to eat to so all these different places. And then um, there was one night where we like took a boat out on the water and just hung out. And we saw wild seals, which I was so excited about because we don't have seals over here. <laughs> Just setting my face with this Too Faced setting powder real quick. And then um, a couple days prior to that, it was actually my birthday. So um, my fiance actually took me to the Malibu Wine Safari for my birthday this year, which I still like can't believe. <laughs> we had always talked about going there, but it was always like kind of a joke. Like, yeah, we're, not, we're never gonna go. But um, yeah, that was my birthday gift from him this year, so it was very special. Just picking up this ColourPop bronzer in the shade California Dreaming. But yes, if you're not familiar with the Malibu Wine Safari, it's basically um, this massive, massive winery where they pretty much take you out on these, um, these big lifted trucks and you're able to get really close to all these different exotic animals like giraffes, zebra, alpaca, and you can feed them. And then throughout the tour, um, you do wine tastings and they poured generously. So I was paying for it the next day, but it was totally worth it. And it was just so cool, such a fun experience. And like I said, I still can't believe we actually went. But it was a lot of fun, so I highly recommend anyone the age of 21 or older to go. If you're ever in the Malibu area, definitely book a tour with the Malibu Wine Safari. It was so cool, like I, did, I didn't want to leave and I, I would be down to do it again in a heartbeat. So I'll probably wind up like inserting a clip at the end of this video, um, just so you, know, you can see some bits of how our trip went. Okay, so taking this little brush from Real Techniques and using the same bronzer, I just want to run some on the side of my nose. Moving on to brows, taking this NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I'm just going to brush all my hairs up and just start filling them in. I want to like keep talking about California because it was so much fun. I don't know, the vibes over there are just totally different. It's a completely different energy. Yeah, it's just, it's very different even in terms of terrain like it's very hilly and there were a lot of cliffs where we were, but it was really beautiful, so beautiful. Um, we went on a hike one day and we were literally like on a cliff. 
just overlooking the ocean in Malibu. It was so beautiful. So I'm just gonna start filling these in, probably speed it up because I take forever when I do this. Oh my God, I ran out of this already? I ran out of this already. I feel like I just bought this. That'll just have to do. Okay. All right, so for blush, I'm using this um, Bare Minerals Gen Nude. God, so hard to open. This blush here, it's called Pink Me Up. All right, so for highlight, I'll be using this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Moonstone. And I'm going to apply it with this Morphe fan brush. All right, so finally, moving on to the fall part. Taking this Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. The colors in this palette just scream fall to me. They're just basically the colors you see in the fall time, like leaves. Starting with this shade here, it's called Sauced and it's just a very light brown color. And then taking the color right next to it, it's called Low Blow and it's just kind of a deeper brown. And I'll kind of just lay that right over top, but focus it more into my crease. All right, so I'm actually gonna put this to the side for a minute. This color is like calling my name right now. It's a Super Shock Shadow by ColourPop. It's the perfect fall color. It's called Fade In. And it's kind of this burnt orange color. So I think I'm actually going to apply that all over my lid. So taking this Mikasa E250, I'll start building that up onto my lid. I'm just taking my ring finger and I'm just gonna use that color sauce from before in that Urban Decay palette. Um, and I'll just apply some to my bottom lash line. And then just taking this tiny shader brush, um, dipping back into Fade In, just picking up a little bit of that. And I'll just focus this on my outer half of my bottom lash line. So I haven't used this in a while. This is a MAC pigment. It's in the color tan. So it's basically like this loose pigment. Taking this Sigma F70 concealer brush and just wetting it with some MAC Fix Plus. It's very messy, so be careful. I'm just dipping this brush into the pigment and tapping off the excess. And I'm just going to put some of this on my lid, just on the center. I always get so nervous I'm gonna drop it. And then for my inner corners, I'm taking this other shadow by ColourPop. It's called Fluffy and it's this gorgeous shimmery gold color. And I'm just dipping my pinky in it. And I'll pop some of this into my corner. And then you know I gotta do a wing. So taking this Bobbi Brown Black Gel Liner. All right, and then I am trying out this new mascara today. It's new to me. Um, it's the Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. This is a very interesting wand. It's kind of tapered. I like good stuff. Before I put on some lashes, I'll just line my lip with this MAC lip liner. It's in the shade Spice.
And I will be using a drugstore lipstick today. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Lipstick, liquid lipstick. It's from the Le Chocolats collection. So this color is Joseph Coco. This is like the perfect fall lippy. It's just so pretty. It's that one right there. Um, just kind of like a muted pinky brown. I love it. And it smells like chocolate. So they do feel kind of like uncomfortable and sticky when you first apply them, but when they dry down, they're pretty comfortable. So while that dries, I think I'll just pop on some lashes and I think this look will be done. All right, this is so repetitive, but these are my favorite lashes, so I'm gonna use them. Uh, they're by Ardell and they're just the Full Mink Wispies. I just love these. I always buy the same lashes. So that concludes my fall inspired makeup. Um, I have a feeling I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these. Fall colors are just my go-tos. I love the warm neutral tones, you know, like the browns and the golds and just cranberries, plums. I love all of it. So yeah, I'll probably be doing more fall makeup looks. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you in my next video. And then like I said, I'll probably just insert a quick clip at the end of this so you know some of our california trips so if you're interested in seeing some of that stay tuned if not i'll just see you in my next video
<laughs> no, they they'll we're jump close. in the boat. Yeah, we're close enough. Oh, we're going! <laughs> 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 